I would sleep here if I could. Finding that place you belong is pretty cool. Sure is cool. But finding a safe place to create there you go. might be even better. I saw the value of what just the simple joy of making a piece of art and then being proud of something was so significant and amazing and magical. If you ask an artist like Merlin, he might tell you a place like Open Hearts is flat out heroic. I based my superheroes on my Open Hearts teachers in the OHAC Justice. I titled it because OHAC Justice stands for Open Hearts Art Center. But even superheroes knew that they were facing a huge challenge when the COVID-19 pandemic hit last year. We are family here, and to think that our artists would have no outlet and no source of activity was um, devastating. You didn't like it when they had to shut down, huh? Uh-uh, uh-uh, uh-uh. We know our artists so deeply that there really wasn't another option. Like we knew we had to continue providing some kind of service to these folks. Making the transition to go online was scary. But like any good superhero team, I gave Detective Tony and Jesse some paintbrushes, some paint palette knives, and a bow staff. The members of the OHAC Justice knew that they had to look fear in the eye and persevere. It's very isolating right now and depressing and our artists need as much joy and laughter and fun in their lives, and that is really what we're bringing to them right now. So Open Hearts closed its doors and found a way to utilize their superpowers through Zoom meetings. The connection's still there, and we still are just having these great conversations with the, the, our artists and each other and the staff, and we're on there, and we're still just, it still feels like we're kind of learning and growing together. Gathering small victories along the way, but still unsure of what the future would hold. All of us have been in this holding pattern and doing what we can to make meaning and to um, do important work for the people we serve here. That work led to the doors finally reopening for the artists to walk through. And although there's not as many artists inside and masks are a must. How happy were you when you knew you could come back here? Honey. I could have shouted. Look. Artists like Aaron couldn't wait for their art to be seen. Look. Look. Okay. Travis couldn't wait to get back to work. When you come here, you show up ready to work then. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and get his art into the hands of the buying public. Sell some. Sell all it. Sell my money. Becky's excited to see your picture on the wall. I got print in front of me. And get back to her flowers and birds. George is working too hard to say much. And Merlin. Yep, I am a busy dude. Yeah. Well, let's not interfere with the next issue of the OHAC Justice. Yes, I'm a big fan of superheroes. There you go. And Susie sums up why this place is so important. The people, the place, what we get to do, we get to be, we get to be ourselves. And thanks to the Open Hearts Art Center, we get to have choices. In Asheville. It is awesome. Yeah, yeah. Matthew Yates. News 13.